Here's the, the assemble microphone. Now I'm taking what I'm taking off here is the uh, is the windscreen, and it's also the um, the wire mesh. It protects the microphone. So this does a few things. Uh, a, a major thing that it does is it, it protects it. It keeps it um, from damaging stuff inside of it. And it also has um, a foam windscreen inside of it. And that, uh, that blocks out pops. And it keeps you like, you know, if you're, if you're spitting, it doesn't get any spit into the microphone. This is the capsule. And this capsule, it actually has something that's very similar to, um, to what's in a speaker. It's a moving, it has a, has a diaphragm. And, and this is what we call a diaphragm. It's, it, uh, it moves back and forth. It can move back and forth. And it has a coil attached to the diaphragm. And it moves back and forth. And that, that is actually inside the microphone here in the capsule. This diaphragm moves, kind of the way a speaker moves back and forth to give you sound. When sound hits the diaphragm, it moves back and forth. And it, that's how it captures the sound. And the coil in the diaphragm is what moves against a magnet and it approves electrical signals. So I can take this, because this is a prototype, I'm able to actually remove this diaphragm, or remove this capsule. And so this is what it looks like. This microphone is what's called uh, supercardioid. So what that means is um, it gets a, a, picks up sound from in front of it, it rejects it from, from this angle here, and it also picks up a little bit from behind it. And so it's, it has a very narrow pickup pattern. So it's, it's like when you point this microphone at something, it gets the sound from the direction that it's pointing. The capsule has wires connected to it. And these wires get connected to the connector here. And it's, it's on those wires and those connections that gets back to your mixing board or your whatever product you're plugging it into.